Buganda Road Chief Magistrate Olive Kazare dismissed the case after Dr. Nzivuo's lawyers asking court that prosecution failed to prove the case against their client. <laughs> Dr. Nzivuo broke down in tears after being cleared on charges connected to flying the body part of former Butaleja Member of Parliament, the late Serena Nabanda, to South Africa for further examination. The trial chief magistrate held that every action was done in broad daylight, citing the documentation that was facilitated by taxpayers' money with authorization of parliament. Dr. Nzivuo has been jointly charged with King Kizi East Member of Parliament, Dr. Chris Badiomonsi, for allegedly conspiring to obtain the alleged body samples. Chief Magistrate Olive Kazari ruled that Dr. Nzivuo and Dr. Badiomonsi have no case to answer before court since their actions do not constitute any offenses. If there is a postmortem like this, I'll do it exactly the same way. I will not fear. I'll do it even if it means what. But to fight for the truth, that's what I'll do. After the court session, the duo Dr. Nzivua and Badi Omonsi insisted on instructing their lawyers to pursue a suit for malicious prosecution. Still in court, the Supreme Court has fixed 7th of October this year as the hearing date for the suit that was filed by the Nubian community in Uganda, in which they are challenged the continued freezing of their accounts. Justice George William Seseko fits the dead after asking the parties to make the necessary documentations in court relating this case.